23 eye-opening reasons why some people can't stand King Charles III. Are you ready for some royal drama? Today, we're diving into the controversial world of King Charles. Some British citizens can't stand the thought of him taking the throne, and we're about to find out why. From personal quirks to political views, controversial relationships to cultural clashes, we're exploring 23 raw, intriguing, and interactive reasons why the future king has rubbed some people the wrong way. Get ready to dive deep into the world of royal drama. Number 1. Diana's Death The death of Princess Diana was a tragedy that shook the world, and it also impacted the public perception of King Charles. Some people blame him for the events leading up to her death, including the media attention and the paparazzi who were following her car when it crashed in a Paris tunnel. The aftermath of Diana's death and the public outpouring of grief that followed put King Charles in a difficult position. Some people criticized him for his seemingly cold and aloof response to the tragedy, while others saw him as a victim of the media circus that surrounded the event. This tragic event is a controversial topic that still resonates with many people today and is one of the reasons why some British citizens can't stand King Charles. For some, the way he handled the aftermath of her death showed a lack of empathy and understanding, while others believe he was unfairly vilified by the media. Number 2. Affairs Affairs are always a sensitive topic, and King Charles' extramarital relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles was no exception. The affair was highly publicized and caused a scandal for the royal family. Some people believe that King Charles' infidelity and subsequent divorce from Princess Diana tarnished the image of the royal family and showed a lack of respect for the institution of marriage. Even though he eventually married her after Diana's death, some people see his relationship with Camilla as a betrayal of Princess Diana and a lack of moral character on Charles' part. Others argue that it's a private matter and should not be held against him in his role as a future king. Number 3. Divorce The details of Diana and King Charles' troubled marriage were aired in public, and the media coverage was relentless. For many people, the way that King Charles handled the divorce was a source of criticism. Some believed that he was insensitive to Princess Diana's feelings, while others saw him as a calculating and manipulative figure who had been unfaithful to his wife. The divorce also had a significant impact on the British royal family's public image, with many people feeling that it had damaged the institution's reputation. It was a stark contrast to the fairy tale romance that had been presented to the public when Charles and Diana first got married, and it shattered the illusion of a perfect royal family. Number 4. Royal Duties One of the reasons why some British citizens can't stand King Charles is the perception that he's not dedicated enough to his royal duties. While the royal family's always been associated with public service and charitable work, some people feel that Charles has not lived up to this expectation. For instance, some have criticized Charles for not attending enough public engagements and not fulfilling his role as a senior member of the royal family. There have also been allegations that he used his position to advance his own personal interests, such as his passion for environmental causes and architecture, at the expense of his official duties. In addition, Charles has been accused of not being as visible or approachable as other members of the royal family, which has further fueled the perception that he's not dedicated enough to his role. While some argue that this is due to his reserved nature, others see it as a sign of disinterest or a lack of commitment. Furthermore, there have been instances where Charles has been absent from important royal events, which has further fueled criticism of his dedication to his duties. For example, in 2016, Charles was absent from the state opening of Parliament, which led some to question his commitment to his role as the future King of England. Number 5. Personal Beliefs Charles has long been known for his outspoken views on a range of issues that go beyond his royal duties. He's been a vocal advocate of environmental causes and sustainability, which has earned him both praise and criticism. Some believe that his environmental activism is admirable and necessary in the face of climate change, while others see it as intrusive and misguided. Similarly, Charles' views on architecture have been controversial. He's been a vocal critic of modern architecture, which he sees as lacking in beauty and soul. Instead, he champions traditional architecture and the preservation of historic buildings. Some people agree with his views and appreciate his efforts to promote traditional architecture, while others find them outdated and elitist. 
In terms of religion, Charles has been a strong advocate for interfaith dialogue and cooperation. He's met with leaders from a range of religions and has spoken out about the importance of religious tolerance and understanding. Some people appreciate his efforts to promote religious harmony, while others see them as naive or misguided. Number 6. Political Opinions King Charles' involvement in politics has been a subject of controversy for some time. As a member of the royal family, he's expected to remain neutral and avoid making political statements. And this is why Charles' interference in politics has sparked controversy among British citizens who have criticized his involvement in issues that are seen as political in nature. For example, in 2015, King Charles was revealed to have written several letters to government officials expressing his concerns about the Badger Call, a controversial policy aimed at reducing the spread of bovine tuberculosis. The publication of these letters was met with criticism from some people who believed that Charles had overstepped his boundaries by trying to influence government policy. The controversy also reignited a debate about the role of the monarchy in British politics, with some arguing that members of the royal family should remain impartial and avoid commenting on political matters. Number 7. Traditionalism some British citizens believe that Charles is too traditional and not open-minded enough to modern ideas. For example, he's known for his love of hunting, which some see as a barbaric practice that goes against modern animal welfare standards. Furthermore, some have criticized King Charles for being too focused on maintaining his own personal privileges and status, rather than using his position to help improve the lives of ordinary British citizens. This has led to accusations that he's disconnected from the realities of everyday life and the struggles faced by many people in the UK. Number 8. Extravagance King Charles has been known to lead a luxurious lifestyle, which some people find excessive and wasteful. The royal family's opulent homes, expensive cars, and extravagant vacations have drawn criticism from those who feel that they're a misuse of taxpayer money. In addition, Charles has faced scrutiny over the costs associated with his public appearances and engagements. For example, it was reported that his 2018 trip to India and Malaysia cost British taxpayers over £470,000, or $655,000, in travel expenses alone. Some people also argue that the royal family's wealth and lavish spending are particularly tone-deaf given the economic struggles faced by many in the UK, especially during times of recession and austerity measures. Number 9. Privilege Charles was born into a life of privilege and wealth as the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. He grew up in palaces and attended exclusive private schools and universities. While he did serve in the Royal Navy and has taken on various roles and patronages throughout his life, some people view his position as one of inherited privilege rather than earned merit. This perception has led to criticism from some who see his position as unearned and undeserved. The idea of royal entitlement has been a topic of debate in British society, with some arguing that it's an outdated concept that has no place in modern society. Number 10. Criticism of Modern Culture King Charles has often been criticized for being out of touch with modern culture and technology. In fact, He's been known to express his disdain for modern technology and social media, once famously stating that he was always behind the curve on the latest gadgetry. This has earned him the nickname Prince of Wales in some circles. In addition to this, King Charles also criticized popular culture, including music and fashion. He once criticized the music of modern pop stars, calling it awful and stating that he preferred classical music. His views on fashion have also been controversial, with some seeing his style as outdated and out of touch with modern fashion trends. These criticisms have led some to see Charles as a relic of a bygone era, unable to adapt to the changing times and attitudes of a modern society. Number 11. Education Many also hold the view that Charles' privileged education at exclusive private schools and prestigious universities may have contributed to a disconnect with the day-to-day -day struggles of the average person. They argue that his education at institutions such as Gordonston School and Cambridge University, which are not accessible to most people due to their high costs, has resulted in a lack of understanding and empathy for those who do not have the same opportunities. Number 12. Lack of Charisma Well, it seems that some people believe that King Charles could use a bit more glamour in his step, 
He's been criticized for lacking charisma and coming across as a bit dull. Perhaps he needs to take some pointers from his son, Prince Harry, who always seems to be the life of the party. But in all seriousness, some people feel that King Charles doesn't have the same charm and appeal as other members of the royal family, such as his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth, or his late ex-wife, Princess Diana. Of course, everyone has their own personal style and way of presenting themselves, but it seems that some people find Charles a bit lackluster in comparison. Number 13. Interference in Education Charles has been vocal about his opinions on education and has been criticized for interfering in the education system. In 2015, it was reported that he had written a letter to the Department for Education expressing concerns about the teaching of history in schools. Some saw this as an inappropriate intrusion into policymaking by a member of the royal family. In 2019, it was reported that King Charles had used his influence to change the syllabus at a school in Scotland to include more traditional teaching methods, such as reciting poetry and learning by rote. This move was criticized by some as an attempt to impose his own views on education. Number 14. Attitude Towards the Media King Charles had a fraught relationship with the media. But the media and the royals, it's a tale as old as time, isn't it? And when it comes to Charles, the relationship's been particularly rocky. Some say that he's been unnecessarily combative with the media, which has caused some backlash. It's almost as if the king has a love-hate relationship with the media. On one hand, he needs the press to help him promote his causes and charities. But on the other hand, he doesn't like being hounded by paparazzi every time he steps out of his front door. It's a tricky balance, but some say that King Charles could do a better job of managing it. After all, the media can be a powerful tool for getting your message out there, but it can also be a double-edged sword. And with the king's reputation already on shaky ground, any misstep with the media could be disastrous. Number 15. Tensions with his family King Charles has had a rocky relationship with some members of his own family, including his siblings and his own children. In the past, rumors have circulated about disagreements between Charles and his brother, Prince Andrew, as well as between Charles and his sister, Princess Anne. However, it is his strained relationship with his sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, that has garnered the most attention. Reports of tension between Charles and his sons first emerged when it was revealed that Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, were stepping away from their royal duties. Some speculate that Charles may have played a role in the decision as he reportedly favored a smaller, more streamlined royal family. This led to speculation that Charles may not have been supportive of Harry and Meghan's desire to strike out on their own. Whatever the cause of the tension between Charles and his family members, it's clear that the public has taken notice. Some people view Charles' apparent inability to maintain strong relationships with his family members as a sign that he may not be fit for the role of king. However, others argue that these tensions are simply part of the ups and downs of family life and that they should not be taken as a reflection of Charles' ability to lead. Number 16. Lack of popular appeal Well, it seems like King Charles might need to up his popularity game because he's not exactly winning any awards for being the people's favorite royal. While his mother and his son seem to have captured the hearts of the British public, Charles is often seen as stuffy and lacking in charm. Some have even compared him to a stale crumpet, a little bit dry and not very exciting. It's not that he's a bad person, of course. It's just that he doesn't seem to have that certain something that makes people want to rally around him. Perhaps he could take some notes from his more popular family members, like his grandson, Prince George, who seems to be winning hearts left and right with his adorable antics. Or maybe he could hire a PR team to help him come up with a catchier nickname other than King Charles. After all, if he wants to win over the public, he's going to need to step up his game. Number 17. Controversial Views on Medicine Charles has long been an advocate for alternative medicine, often promoting its use over conventional medical treatments. He's expressed his support for treatments such as homeopathy, acupuncture, and herbal remedies, which some believe lack sufficient evidence and could be harmful if used in place of established medical practices. His views on medicine have sparked controversy, with some accusing him of promoting unproven or even dangerous treatments. In 2006, a group of doctors wrote an open letter to the British Medical Journal expressing concern about Charles' support of alternative medicine, arguing that his advocacy could lead people to use untested treatments instead of seeking proper medical care. 
While some appreciate his advocacy for alternative medicine, others see it as misguided and potentially harmful. Number 18. Eccentricity King Charles is well known for his quirks, with some considering them to be eccentricities. He's been known to talk to plants, which some may find odd or even laughable. In fact, in a 1986 speech, he famously said, I just come and talk to the plants, really. Very important to talk to them. They respond. This statement has been the subject of ridicule and has made him the butt of many jokes. Additionally, his interest in architecture and his strong views on the subject have been seen as eccentric by some, leading to further criticism. Number 19. Pressure on the Late Queen there have been rumors that King Charles was pressuring his mother, Queen Elizabeth, to abdicate the throne in his favor. This has caused some concern among members of the public who feel that he was being impatient and disrespectful towards his mother, who has dedicated her life to the monarchy. While the exact details of their private conversations are unknown, it's clear that the Queen did not show any signs of stepping down anytime soon. Some speculate that Charles' eagerness to take the throne was due to his age and desire to leave his mark on the monarchy before it's too late. Number 20. Criticism of the Church of England King Charles has been critical of the Church of England on various occasions, particularly on issues related to modernization and inclusion. He's expressed concern about the declining attendance in the church and the lack of relevance to young people. He's also expressed support for interfaith dialogue and greater understanding between different religions. In 1994, he famously referred to himself as a defender of the faith rather than the defender of the faith, the traditional title of the British monarch as head of the Church of England. Some saw this as a subtle criticism of the church's exclusive stance. In a 2018 BBC documentary, Charles expressed his desire to become a defender of faiths rather than just one particular faith. He argued that the role of the church should be to bring people together and promote understanding between different faiths rather than to divide them. These comments have been met with criticism from some within the Church of England who see them as a departure from traditional religious values. Number 21. Redundant Support for Homeopathy Despite this criticism, King Charles has continued to promote alternative medicine and has even established his own charity, the King's Foundation for Integrated Health which aims to promote the use of complementary therapies in healthcare. And this redundancy, along with his controversial views on alternative medicine and homeopathy, have sparked a wider debate about the role of complementary therapies in healthcare and the need for scientific evidence to support their effectiveness. Number 22. Historical Controversies King Charles also faced a fair share of hate from many people, as many British citizens hold him responsible for historical controversies related to the treatment of the abdicated King Edward VIII. Edward VIII was forced to abdicate the throne in 1936 after he insisted on marrying Wallace Simpson, an American divorcee. Some believe that Charles has expressed sympathy towards Edward VIII despite his controversial actions and decisions, and this has caused some to question his judgment and suitability as a future monarch. Additionally, some have accused King Charles of attempting to rehabilitate Edward VIII's reputation which they see as a disregard for the British monarchy's traditions and values. Number 23. Conservative Views In 2013, when same-sex marriage became legal in the UK, King Charles reportedly expressed his concerns about the impact this would have on traditional marriages. This sparked a heated debate with some accusing him of being out of touch and insensitive to the struggles of the LGBTQ community. These conservative views have contributed to a growing sense of disconnection between King Charles and certain segments of the British population, particularly young and more progressive groups who value more inclusive and forward-thinking attitudes towards social and political issues. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the controversy surrounding King Charles. It's clear that his actions and beliefs have caused polarizing reactions among the British public. If you enjoyed this discussion, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest news and debates surrounding the royal family.